Yes, Etsy family, hope you guys are well. Guys, I got some Etsy news for you today. Some breaking news that you guys need to listen to. And this kind of interesting. It's interesting stuff that's happening. Well, basically, look, what Etsy has done is they opened up availability for Etsy payments to other countries now. Okay, so you'll check this out on the Etsy seller handbook. You can actually find this. And uh, let me just go down. So Etsy payments available in more countries, right? See how and, and how they're selling it is they've opened up Etsy payments availability for these new for these uh for these countries and I'll show you them below. Oh look, Etsy payments are available. Let me just check it out for um Thailand, Ukraine, Japan, Chile, Argentina, Peru, China, and India, right? And they partnered them, um, obviously partnering with the uh, Pioneer. And as usual, guys, look, I'm gonna go through this step by step. Right. Because I think this is so, so important and there's a lot of repercussions with this. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things going on on the Internet with people that do have concerns with this, um, worried about people from other countries coming onto the Etsy platform, selling sellers and so forth. It does affect everybody. But guys, I'm going to do a lot more breaking news from Etsy. So if you are interested in things like that, then don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, like, subscribe and smash that notification bell. so You can get more of these Etsy news in your feed, mate in your feed my so listen i'm telling you now this is kind of there's a lot more to it now i want to i want to thank um brand creators youtube channel for um pointing this out or, or having a video on this actually which i'm going to put a link below uh scott and his team at brand creators uh fantastic channel but do check out a link below um for the actual for there's a video that they did on this too so do check it out after this video. And I'll also put a link to this, which is about the, the new sort of availability for more countries, Etsy payments. Quick read, as they say, it's a five minute read and also another link to another document which well, on a website, so which is very important. But guys, look, I mean, the availability is to these countries, right? Um, and you can see them here. But I think what what's happening is people seem to have some concerns about this, um, whether it be you know, more Etsy sellers coming on onto the platform that people are worried about, worried about certain things with certain countries. Um, they're worried about that there's just going to be just way more activity and that people and that the Etsy platform hasn't actually solved its own problems before actually adding other countries into the mix, if that makes sense. Um, and I get that too, you know. I mean, look, we've already got our own problems with regards to onboarding. There's new fees that have come out, the $15 fee that's come out to new sellers. Um, there's also scamming that's still happening on, on the Etsy platform, which people are concerned about. Um, and also, you know, the original, if you like, OGs of Etsy, the handmade uh, OGs, um, you know, they're probably thinking like, I mean, we're all thinking like all these changes are happening. What's going on? Can Etsy actually handle this? Can Etsy, the platform, handle more sellers and more buyers? And, you know, there are concerns. Um, they're definitely legitimate concerns. Now, here's another article I'm going to show you very quickly from Value Added Resource. Fantastic um, article that's very interesting, actually. Um, Etsy quietly adds China to Etsy payment eligibility list via Payoneer partnership. So, you know, again, it's what Etsy have said already, which, which we saw. Um, Etsy has quietly made changes to their payment policies that will open the marketplace to sellers residing in China via existing partnership with Pioneer to process payments. Um, so there is a focus on this, on this article really about if you like Chinese um, sellers um, onboarding, if you like, onto the Etsy payments. And, um, but, you know, it's not just China. As I mentioned before on the actual Etsy article, the original one, sellers reside in residence in Argentina, Chile, but they've, they seem to have underlined China, I think um, uh, India, Japan, Peru, Thailand, Ukraine. Right. And I think some of the sort of worries or concerns maybe um, is if we come down to down here, I think some of the I think I guess the criticism lies is, is I think is more about this. Etsy has long been criticized for allowing mass produced items from AliExpress and others to be sold on the site in violation of their handmade policies. Um, and this move is not likely to lessen seller and investor concerns about illegal or policy violating items flooding the marketplace. Now, I'm not sure how, you know, how true that is. Um, but I think, I guess one of the concerns maybe for people is that in terms of like, they're worried about mass production, mass produced things that are going to be coming into the Etsy platform. And I think um, that that's, that seems to be a, a big concern with this and i guess because china actually does a lot of the mass production and i mean you know 
it's it's a difficult one because on one hand i think etsy are obviously trying to include other countries uh, for easy etsy payments um so that obviously for them in terms of their revenue as a platform that will increase their their sales and their revenue and income which i can see that they're doing that um but at the same time you know it shouldn't be at the detriment of the sellers that already exist on the platform now i'm all for bringing new people that would buy you know more buyers onto the platform and you know you know even more sellers because i guess that's that's competition that's online competition that's business but i mean i think i think part of my own personal concerns are we haven't sorted out the the kind of the huge amount of scamming that's going on 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 the etsy platform we haven't sorted that out that's still on that's still there it still exists there's still a lot of things happening with regards to scamming right now and and um that hasn't been solved fully um there are there are issues going on right now in terms of like you know ip um sorry trademark infringement you know we see all the disney things and and things like that and and you know we heard before that things like that will be starting to be cleared up and uh, etsy will be looking at these further and yeah we have seen you know listings taken down but they're still they're still out there there's still i can see still see loads of um infringement um trademark infringement listings out there still selling on the platform so we haven't sorted that out either yet personally i think i do have concerns and i'm not just talking about you know particularly china only but you know opening up to you know sellers resident argentina chile china india japan peru thailand and ukraine um, uh, will definitely open the door for more sellers and i think that is a bit of a concern for me personally. Yeah, you know, I'm all for competition, um, but I think that then that might bring in too much competition, you know, way too much competition. And again, it will be harder to sell. And I've spoken about this before, about how it's a race to the bottom. You know, I'm not happy about having to sell um, as cheap as possible. Although, I mean, I must admit, when I do need to sell, when I'm part of my strategy for selling is that I do start low and then I raise my price up. But my point is, I don't want to start at a very low place. But yet, we seem to be forced to start really low to sell. And then obviously, as we gather momentum and reviews, you can raise your price. But generally, we seem to have this thing that, you know, I guess not about va- not just about valuing our work, but the more competition there is, the more likely we are going to have to reduce the price and obviously get less profit. And so there are knock-on effects with more sellers and if there is a like a huge influx of um of people coming onto the platform i mean i don't know is is etsy can the etsy platform deal with that and you know it might not just be a gradual thing it might be a huge influx of of people jumping onto the platform and you know that 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 does worry me because we find it difficult to contact etsy for support anyway now but when you're actually got like let's say thousands and thousands more sellers coming onto the platform from different places, um, you know, isn't that going to be harder to deal with? I mean, yeah, maybe I guess they're seeing the money aspect of it, where they're going to make more money from these new sellers, and I get that, but I don't want it to be at the detriment of the existing sellers. I mean, this, this, this to me, you know, hasn't really fully sunk in. Hasn't really fully sunk in, and the effects might not be immediate. The effects might come later. But um, I mean, yeah. What do you think of this? What do you think of this this new thing? Do check out the links in my description where I link to the seller handbook for this, and I link also to the the actual article um, from Value Added Resource, which is very important. I'm also going to link um, Brand Creators video, uh, the original video, which is fantastic, uh, and also give some some good insights. So I think it's important to 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 see. Um, but I would love to hear your opinion on this because I mean I'll be honest with you from my side it's it's, it's I feel I feel like the platform hasn't solved the problems that exist already right now and like I said you know the scamming the the, the trademark infringement you know issues uh, you know issues that happen all the time whether you know they they shut people down for no reason and then reinstate them you know the mock up gate that I, we did the breaking news on I mean they started this new gift mode I mean gift mode has just come out now right and it's a new sort of I guess it's a sort of new algorithm out there. So there just seems to be just so much going on right now. I just feel like it's just not the right time. I feel like this could have been done another time. It could have been drip fed to country after country slowly. I mean, look, it's just straight up, bam, there you go. All these countries, you know, Etsy payments available to them right now. Boom. Just seems too much. Um, and I don't know if the Etsy platform can deal with all of this. I mean, just look, it says unlock access to millions of buyers. Yeah, that sounds amazing. We all want access to more 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 buyers, that's for sure. But then access to more sellers as well. 
do sellers do we want that more other sellers coming on board like i said i'm all good for competition but you know what you know sometimes it can be too much sometimes it can be way too much and i'm not sure if it's the right time for this i, I personally think that it could have been best served doing it another time and actually doing country after country not just putting in like a whole bunch of countries and and giving them that access but actually you know country after country maybe you know you know every year a country every six months every three months wherever it is just slowly i think if you do things slowly it's always better i mean this you know like uh like let's get some quick cash kind of thing i don't know um i don't know guys i don't know guys but that's a that's an that's a latest news and latest update that i wanted to really give give you and so that you can go away and digest it but please drop me a comment below tell me what your opinion is what you think um what your what your take on of this is like i said if you want more etsy news updates i'm definitely looking to focus on obviously i do all kinds of etsy videos but etsy news is something that i definitely want to keep you guys um up to date with so don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. So drop a comment below. Take care.